Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. I'm Kirby. That's Alex over there. Uh, I'm looking a little short on my... Well, hold on one second. Give me a second. I'm looking a little short here. I think my chair needs to be adjusted. Oh, God. Roll away. One second. One second. Oh, fat man moving. Fat man moving. All right. Now I look tall. So, Alex, how we like the same height? All right. Here we go. So, again, like I said before, welcome to Passive Money. That was a mistake. It wasn't scripted. I promise. <laughs> um, I'm Kirby. That's Alex over there. Uh, today we're gonna talk about Alex's favorite topic. Uh, again, I always joke about how cheap Alex is. My jokes don't even reach to the amount of cheapness that he is, but he always has the room ready when I stop over, so I can't complain there. <laughs> but besides that, so today we're gonna talk about comparing prices when shopping. Alex, you're like an uh, expert price comparing person. So what's your thoughts on it? So or just let's go over your method and then we'll dive deeper into it. Yeah, I mean, it depends what it is. Like, if it's groceries, um, yeah, I, we had this conversation the other day where, like, people don't compare prices at the grocery store. They just buy what they need. And um, people might think me and my wife are weird because we're literally looking at, like, we'll, we'll literally, okay, it goes down to looking at the the weight of the contents of the package and comparing it to the other one and comparing the weight and then you know dividing it by the price to see which one has more for the price goes that deep so we'll like i, <laughs> I mean we look in depth into it to see which you know product will get us will last longer than the other for a cheaper price and uh, so when, so when you say that so when you say that um uh... Sorry to cut you off. So when you say that you compare, is this just for food or is this for all products like taller trees for, uh, well, you don't have any animals, but for all, all household goods or everything that you yeah. do, or is it just for certain? Everything products? that, yeah, everything that's household, uh, like that you could buy at a Walmart or a Publix. Publix would be like a giant up north or Kroger or something like that. So right um but anything that you can compare in price um sometimes like say we'll go to like sam's club you can get cheaper vegetables than you can at like other markets uh but then like the meat is not as cheap as like walmart um things like that and some people are picky they're like oh i don't like walmart's meats or whatever it's i don't know like if we buy chicken, it's from Walmart. If we buy like red meat, it's usually from like Sam's Club or something like that. Or it's like comparing price and quality and stuff. Um, so let me hit you with the counter argument. Um, so if you're going from store to store, if you go from store to store to buy different things, do you account the gas price difference between? going to see if it's actually cheaper but if you add in the gas from jumping from store to store do you add that into account also yeah yeah no we do <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh -huh. <laughs> we totally do okay so if it doesn't make sense to drive out to a different store we'll just buy it at the store we're at but like there's for instance where we live there's a sam's club right next to a latin market and if we're in that side of town we'll go to like sam's club for the vegetables and then we'll go to the latin market for the meat because it's cheaper at the latin market and then same right. with fruits and stuff so like but then if we're like on the south side of town because sam's club will be on the north side then we'll just stay at like walmart and Publix. But yeah, if so, so, so do you like doing you and your wife? Do y'all like create a map? Y'all like map the whole thing out before y'all leave the house? No, <laughs> I'm just asking. Do y'all do that? Do y'all be like, all right, it's grocery time. We're gonna be strategic. We're gonna be in this sector right here. So we gotta tackle these objectives. That's, is that how you do it? Or... No, 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 it's not that complicated. <laughs> oh, that's so, so, all right. So next, the next question is, um, so I know you ran a number. So just on average, if you just stayed at one store, let's say for instance, Publix, let's just say if you went from Publix and then from Publix to Walmart, let's just what is the average, what is the average savings do you believe that you gain from 
doing it your way instead of just buying everything at one or the other store? What do you just just the estimate, just the ballpark? What do you think your savings are? So if I compare Publix to Walmart, if I buy if we buy everything we need at Publix, vegetables, meat, uh, you know, products, um, anything, we don't really buy snacks. So I'll consider that too. We don't really buy any snacks, um, but just groceries at Publix, I would say compared to Walmart, we're probably saving a hundred to one hundred twenty-five dollars per time we go. So going going to Publix instead of Walmart, or going what Walmart instead going of to, going to Walmart instead of Publix. I I would say about hundred about hundred to hundred twenty-five. Yeah. And how often do you go grocery shopping? Just uh, we go every two weeks. So every two weeks, or so hundred times two weeks, that's twenty-six. So you're saving around twenty-six hundred bucks a year. Yeah. About twenty six hundred bucks a year by doing that. So, with I mean, just by comparing one versus the other. So now doing it with your method, you got the hop around method, so you got to add gas in there. So <laughs> how much? How much money? I mean, so depend. Let's say he's a Publix, since Publix is the higher higher end here. Doing your method, doing your method against getting everything at Publix. About how much do you save? Yeah, so Publix is actually right down the street, so it's closer than Walmart. Um, mm -hmm. so driving to Publix would cost like no, you no. Know what I mean by because you say your your method is your method is you know you buy the groceries, you buy you buy the vegetables at uh, let's say Walmart or Sam's or whatever, and then you go buy the meat at the the Latin store. And you yeah. probably buy the taller trees. Oh. By the lumber yard, because I know you probably only use like one ply or half ply, right? You're not using two. You're not using two ply, right? <laughs> Yo, we just get the store brand one. I don't know. Two ply or you two ply or one? I don't know. I two ply, I guess. I... Oh man, you could be out there doing suicide with the damn toilet paper. Your fingers slip on the toilet paper on one ply. You're in trouble, buddy. You're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, so with that, so back to the, back to the question. Uh, so, which one is which one will be cheaper? You go and just getting it at, or how much are you saving instead of just getting it all at one store? And then, what's your average savings doing it your way? We're going to the different stores to buy the different goods. So, like, we rarely go to like Sam's Club and the Latin store, mm -hmm. but if we are in the area and we have to do grocery shopping as well at around the same time we just stop there and then do it there so it comes out to roughly the same if we went to like walmart between the two <laughs> so but if we're not going out that way on that side of town we'll just go to walmart and then going to walmart, so a gallon of gas for two for you know going twice a month all right so i'm about to i'm about to uh ask you the question that the the broke bougie people eggs okay do you buy name brand everything store brand or is it dependent on what the product is if you go name brand or store brand we mostly buy store brand um i have to say when it comes to name brand i guess i'm bougie with like hispanic name brands for foods like goya mm -hmm. like so i'm usually not too too picky but like some of the seasonings and stuff like that, I'll you know maybe go with that. Um, but for most products, like I would say, like ninety five percent of what we buy is just like if they have a store brand, we'll just buy the store brand. The only thing we don't we started buying now that is name brand is the salmon cream cheese from Philadelphia cream cheese because they don't sell it in store brands, so we have to pay the the name brand. <laughs> but, uh, okay, okay, so you 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 probably don't even get the name brand. You just probably say cream cheese on it. It don't even have it don't even have like Walmart cream cheese. It's just cream cheese or something like that. So now the, the question is, I mean, because of, of course you didn't have the name brand, you know, in your lifetime. Is the taste different or do you got to add different flavors to it to get it comparable to the name brand? So depending on what it is, I think it's about the same. Honestly, like there's some people I've heard that don't like Walmart cheese, for instance. But also with name brands, 
they sell different qualities. So they have like the actual like aged cheese, Walmart version, or like the, the regular like peel, you know, cheese or whatever. So like that's Yeah. one instance. Um, I think maybe Walmart like steaks aren't as good. So that's probably why we go to like Sam's Club. Um, but, but yeah, for the most part, like store brand, I don't really see a difference at all. Right. Yeah, I stopped going to I stopped grocery shopping. That's why I get to pick on Alex. I stopped grocery shopping when um this was about a year ago. I went into a Target and um I was only in there for about 20 minutes. And in me, my grocery shopping method is literally I just go down every aisle. I literally go down every aisle. And then if it's just something I want, I just throw it in the basket. I don't even check to see if it's in the house or not. If it's about, I'll just be like, doo -doo -doo. oh, that's cool. And then um, I I remember when I could grocery shop, I have a buggy full and, you know, pay, you know, 80, 90, 100 bucks. Um, I know you probably don't remember those days. Those are good old days. I mean, you wouldn't know nothing about those. But now this this la the last time I went grocery shopping, I was in Target and then I did my normal. And actually, I was more conscious because I knew inflation was kicking up. And then, you know, we had all these, uh, you know, extra stimulus extra people had extra money let's just say that people had extra money no matter if it was snap no matter if it was unemployment enhancements or what have you so i was more conscious on what i was getting and then i probably had half a cart full and then when i got to the register the lady said like 317 and i said i'm never going grocery shopping again and i haven't but that's my method of grocery shopping i just go down i literally go down every aisle i don't have a grocery list and be like well i need this and then go to i just go down every aisle and then i'm like oh yeah throw it in a basket like that and um but yeah when they hit me with that 317 i was like oh i guess i'm retired from grocery shopping i just go hit my wendy's five for five breakfast lunch dinner good <laughs> i'm good oh man we do probably come out to like the same price monthly <laughs> but it's stuff i want man it's stuff I, it's stuff i want you know ten dollars a day you know but i mean groceries don't last long in in my house you know my son he gonna he gonna run through everything in like three minutes so <laughs> So yeah, it's uh, but yeah, it's I mean, but that's that's an interesting. Thing. I mean, Yeah, so like, yeah, but I mean, I, I still get groceries, but I don't go get them anymore. That's, we'll literally, uh, it's something about that price. like, Is we'll that what? actually, uh, we'll set ourselves like a, every two weeks, $150 budget. And then we eat a lot of vegetables too. So like, and vegetables are pretty cheap at Walmart. Um, Right. So we could get a lot for like, say like 30 bucks. You could fill up a whole bunch Um So what's your so what's your monthly grocery bill? It's like And and people people that's listening understand his monthly we're it won't be apples to apples, but your monthly grocery because it's just you and your wife. So it's two people. So what is your monthly grocery bill? it's about 300 a month. And then if, Yeah. if we buy anything like out of the ordinary, it's probably like three to 400 a month, but normally around that lower 300 range. Well, mine's that in mind is just me, my wife, my kid. Um, ours about I don't even want to say it, you might be scared. My ours was our grocery just groceries is about about six, six, seven hundred bucks a month. Yeah. And then that's not even including our uh go out because steaks, um, this is something new I just found out. My family don't like my steaks. I just found this out. So <laughs> So um, they they voted me off the island and said uh, we'd rather go out to a restaurant and eat steaks than eat your steaks. So Damn. yeah, yeah, I know. news to me, man. <laughs> news to me, just just kick me right off the grill, man. So it only took it only took about sixteen years for me to tell me that, but all right, I live with it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Yeah, so. you. I mean. Yeah, I mean, we, and then, like, if we buy, like, uh, like, hygiene products or whatever, like, we'll incorporate that in the grocery bill. We try to keep everything within a budget. We try not to go beyond that and just... Right. Yeah, we have, yeah, we we do the same thing. I don't I know people think that I mean food is I mean food is like our biggest expense and like you know. Um but we still keep the grocery bill at a you know, we know that's why I say it's between six and seven. The number we have budget for is seven a month. And then we have another 
about seven for going out, but it's still within our budget. It's not just, oh, we just willy nilly blinding. Just because we have the money, I don't mean we just blindly just spend it, spend it, spend it, spend it. Now, um, for our store brand and name brand, uh, there's only a couple of things that I need to be name brand. Um, Oreo cookies, of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, Got to have those name brand. Chips Ahoy's. Uh, uh, I gotta go two ply. I can't. I can't be on one ply. I can't be on suicide watch. Mm -mm. One ply just make me think of military MREs. Nah. No, so, we know. we don't buy one ply. Do you? Yeah, no. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, uh, but besides that, yeah, everything else could be so. I mean, it, it don't matter to me. So, for the most part, I'm not cooking anyway. So, I don't even know. I will say Oreos are hard to copycat so oreo is like yeah yeah, yeah. gotta be Oreo. yeah so besides that i don't i don't care I, I mean i don't i don't even see it come out the packaging i'm just eating it after the fact so i don't i don't know what the name is on it or not so but yeah no it's pretty interesting and for people that's listening that's something where we at where we're going or where you know people are pro prognosticating that's the word these are big words here uh, prognosticating that we could be headed to a potential recession. I mean, like Alex said, he just saved twenty six hundred bucks a month uh, by comparison shop. Comparison shopping will go a long way. Uh, Alex, you got something? Yeah, and I was gonna say too, like um, I see this uh, with a lot of people that I will talk to about. You know, they might want to start their own financial journey or you know, saving money, getting out of debt, and. If you want to be fully committed, you have to make the sacrifice of maybe not eating as good as you would like to. Um, right. I mean, with three hundred dollars a month, me and my wife eat better than we did before. And I just know, like before, I used to eat like like ramen or like just make a sandwich, like, and that was it. And then my wife would have like, like if we bought steak, it was like the thin steak. It was never like full steak. And um, like a little bit of chicken and stuff, but like our grocery bill was probably like a third or half of what it is now. So like now we're kind of like living the life. <laughs> I mean, right, right. And a lot of people that I talk to, they really don't want to just make that initial sacrifice for maybe a year to just like cut down costs on like food expense. But you know, you have to, as long as you're still alive. I mean. You can deal without, you know, enjoying something tasty or whatever, but you just have to cut costs and where it needs to be cut if you want to make, you know, reach your financial goals. Yeah, and I don't want to get the I don't want to get the twisted with the viewers. Yeah, my grocery budget is a little bit higher. Well, well, way higher than Alex. But when I was starting off, I was on the I was on the ramen. ramen but, you know, I used to put it between bread and make it a sandwich to make it think I'm living living a good life. Might put a slice of cheese on it or something. Uh, but, but, yeah, it was it was a lot of sacrifices. It was a lot of sacrifices and things like that uh, before. And then it's just those sacrifices built up. And then I always said, when I when I have some money, you know, when I have some money, I'm not going to go crazy. But the one thing that I will always do is eat. And that's where I spend most of my money at. So it's not... I want to spend in seven hundred dollars on food, spending you know thousands upon thousands of dollars on going out. Then I'm going to buy you know crazy cars and doing all this. I food is the only thing that I care about now. But I made the sacrifice to build up the money that way way more that the money that I spend on food is not even a. It's not, it's like a rounding error when it comes to the money that comes in. It's not oh because. I have X amount of dollars. I could spend 20% of that money on food. I just don't. I mean, or I could spend 20% on cars, another 20% on this and that. Only thing I care about is food. I don't like driving. I don't like anything else. But the key was early on, you know, the cycle that Alex is in and things like that, sacrifice and sacrifice and sacrifice. Like you said, your budget was half of that. Now you don't went up 100% on your budget. And then you still, you still feel good about what you're eating and stuff like that. So it's not a... It's not a, oh, just because I got it, let me ball till I fall. Let me have lobster and sushi and all this other crap just because just because I can. It's it's 
measure is measure and controlled aggression when it comes to that. But the sacrifice is first. Sacrifice is always first. Living living the life is you know later later years. I mean it's a I ain't gonna say it's a huge age difference, but it's a big age difference between me and Alex. And Alex started way before me, but in in my early steps, uh, I was doing the same thing. I was sacrificing, 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 and I'm still sacrificing to this day. Um, now I just spend a little bit more on food, but that's it. I ain't doing nothing else crazy. So, Alex, I I take my hat off to you because I remember my days of uh, comparison shopping and things like that. And we still comparison shop. Well, my wife comparison shop. I don't. I don't deal with that stuff. I was traumatized last time I was out there, but still comparison shoppers do that stuff. It's just the numbers are different. And it's just based on where we're at in our lives. And I guarantee when I look back 10 years and ask Alex the same question, he'd probably be over there. He you know, probably pick up a lobster tail and slid it in a basket <laughs> or whatever. But it'll be store brand lobster tail. It ain't no name brand. Don't get it twisted. Uh so, but yeah. Oh, with all that being said uh please like share tell me what you do uh as far as grocery shopping do you comparison shop do you go to pick one store over the other do you just let it all hang out oh uh, whichever is good no judging here because i like food anyway so whatever you do is cool with me um but yeah please like comment share and uh thanks for everybody that listened and thanks for joining the channel and we'll see you in the next video have a good one see you guys